here is a marketplace find on Facebook. It was one of the strangest deals I've ever done. Um, it was, yeah, it was very strange, but uh, we'll get into that later on. Um, so what we have is some sort of an open wheel racing car. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Uh, it's got a really nice pedal box. Uh, it's got a rack and pinion there. It's got some nice arms. Um, someone spent a fair bit of money on it on the, when they were building this. Uh, it's got an aluminium steering wheel, which is quite small. We'll measure that up. But the strangest thing with this, this car doesn't have an independent rear end. It has like a swing arm, like a motorbike. Uh, it's got some nice castings here for the pillow blocks to help support the axle. Hi. A couple of big shocks on the back there. Uh, underneath uh, this plate here, there's a couple of rails which are drilled which uh, would have taken the motorbike engine. I imagine it was a 500cc twin uh, because if you look down here, this is the throttle linkage and there's two cable adjusters set. So I'd say it's had uh, twin carbies. So that linkage runs all the way down the side. It's got some nice little brackets here and there linkages uh, someone's put a lot of time into it so what I'm trying to do is find out a bit more history about it so the bloke I got it off tells me he found it in Pyramid Hill in Victoria but I'm not 100% sure whether that's right or not I think he was just happy to get the money to go and buy stuff that you shouldn't be buying and um, yeah he just wanted to move me on so uh, it's got an aluminium seat which is in a fairly lay down position it is and underneath that it has an aluminium petrol tank uh, which is still in pretty good condition uh, i've got the monza cap on the side which is rotten the old steel monza cap uh, it's got the fuel tap down there it's got grease nipples all over it and all the moving joints uh, someone's Cut these off here, obviously the angles were wrong, but we'll sort that out later on. I'm hoping to get around to doing this car. I'd really like to do it. Uh, it's something I've always wanted to do, and I think this is a really good opportunity because this car hasn't cost a lot of money. And the best thing about it is we do have an engine and gearbox there that will suit it. It's probably the right era. So we've got a pre-unit Triumph engine and gearbox. It's, um, it's going to be a great thing, but I'd like to convert it to disc brake on the front as well if we can it's only a disc on the rear if you know what these arms are can you let me know i don't know anything about this stuff i know a bit about motorbikes but i don't know a lot about this i think they might be um triumph herald stub axles by the look of it and i am going to find some hubs and wheels i'm already onto that uh, but other than that it doesn't look like it's had any hard hits. Someone's put a lot of time and effort into it. This bit is a bit dodgy over the back there, but I think it probably needs a bit more support across the back and then maybe the roll bar raised a bit or left like that with a support back down to here. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a rip little cut. I'd hope and I feel love. Out, but no one knows. Right, the tape is red. Let's see if we can get just a couple, a bit of a rough idea on the wheelbase. So the wheelbase would be uh, roughly about 1740. And we'll see if we can get a bit of a rough go on the width. And uh, we're just over 1200 from one, the end of one stub to the other stub. Uh, that's the width. The axles from the end of the casting are about uh, I don't know, 110, so they're pretty small. If you know anything about any of these parts, could you let me know? I know nothing about it. I don't know whether it looks to me that 
there's enough parts here that it might have been a kit and then you build your own frame which is obvious um, but if you know any more let us know uh, the email address is in our notes as you know so get in there and have a look but um, i'd like to know any more information if you know if you've seen the car before in victoria let us know if you've seen it in pyramid hill let us know i'd like to get in touch with the owner the original owner so if he's got any more information or any parts stashed away or anything like that so let us know thanks don't forget us